What's up everyone? I'm finally back. Now we have been back for three days or so, so enough time to do some cleaning, grocery shopping, um, and apparently renew my driver's license because those expire. Hmm. I put a poll up on YouTube asking if you guys were interested in a video vacation, and apparently 68% of you were okay with it. It's kind of surprised that no one was actually outraged over the idea, but I digress. We flew from YYC, so Calgary, Canada, to YYZ, which is then the GTA, so Toronto area. Both the wife and I are from the GTA originally. We moved out to Calgary in 2007. I'm pretty sure that's correct. But anyways, uh, what I mean by that is we both have family and friends out there, so a lot of the time was spent with them doing friends and family stuff. Now we did do some touristy stuff as well. We ended up going to Jurassic World, or yeah, Jurassic World, the experience, I guess. So it's a bunch of like animatronic dinosaur things and stuff. It's really meant for kids. Uh, we, I, my mom and I took Shiana there. It was, she liked it. There was like some little baby animatronic things that like kind of moved around and did things. Those were pretty cool. Uh, some of the larger things were fairly well done. It, it's certainly meant for kids. A lot of it's like shut it off so you can't actually see the whole thing and stuff. It's, it's interesting. It's nice to see or go see or do once as an adult. More than that certainly doesn't, like, yeah, no, as an adult doesn't make any sense more going more than once. Uh, we also went to Medieval Nights, Medieval Times, Dinner and Theater, whatever it's called. Again, something really meant for kids. Apparently, as a parent, you have to go do all this stuff for your kid. I don't know. Apparently. Um, the show and stuff was interesting. Uh, the, like, the jousting and stuff was pretty cool. The story or whatever was, like, horribly basic, but the kid loved it, so... Sure. For kids, thumbs up. For adults, eh, the food was really not great, which is what I was disappointed on, but I guess it's not going to be great the way they serve it and do everything. Uh, we had front row seats, so like all that was kind of cool, but yeah, not really meant for adults, or this adult, anyways. Uh, the one thing while we were there that I wanted to do outside of for the friends and family stuff was go to Canada's Wonderland, which we actually were able to do. The weather was cooperative enough anyways. Um, uh, the kid's now actually tall enough to ride all the rides there. Not to say that she's psychologically ready to ride some of those rides. I don't know if I am anymore. But uh, we went on the fly and then the vortex, which... She loved, she absolutely loved both of those. Uh, then I had the great idea of bringing her on to the Mindbuster. That was a different story. She, the, like, the face, or the look on her face when we were done, like, absolute horror. It's like she just watched someone get butchered. I don't even understand what face she had, but it made me laugh, like, hysterically laugh at her because she was so, like, freaked out. I don't know if that makes me a bad father or a good father. I think it like shows that I have a sense of humor to be able to laugh at my kid that well, but apparently my daughter doesn't see it that way. <laughs> um, so after that, we ended up going to the water park because she didn't really want to do any more coasters after being like horribly petrified there. Uh, then it kind of got cloudy and got a bit colder, so we went back. Uh, she wanted to do the fly and the vortex again. We got some foods and did that stuff. So all in all, pretty well kind of mixed on the whole roller coaster thing. We should try some other, like, B-tier coasters next time, opposed to the weird old wooden ones that freak her the fuck out. Uh, we also went to Ripley's Aquarium of Canada. I think that's what it's called. That's what it shows on the webpage anyways. Uh, it's right beside the CN Tower and Sky Dome. I'm calling it the fucking Sky Dome. It's the Sky Dome. You don't change it to Roger Center because Ted Rogers buys the fucking thing. It's the Sky Dome. But anyways, uh, yeah, the Ripley's Aquarium. Kind of cool. The issue that I had with that is at the time that we went, 
I, there must have been like 5,000 people and like it was not suited. Like I'm pretty sure there were over fire code regulations on how many people are in that building because holy shit, there was a lot of people. Like I don't get claustrophobic and I was feeling uncomfortable. Like it was, there was a lot of people and it's so dark. I didn't bother doing any filming in there because it's just so dark because I guess the fish freak the fuck out. If there's lights coming from a roar, you can't see them through the glass and or whatever type thing. But I, I didn't. Yeah. But there was a lot of people like, holy moly, there was a lot of people. Uh, the wife and the kid also ended up going to my mother-in-law's family party that was in Indiana, in, somewhere in Indiana. I know Indiana is a state. I, I don't know where in Indiana. I didn't go because thanks mom for crashing your car, which made so I didn't have to go. I had to help my mom buy a car because she crashed her car. Thanks, mom. But yeah, so this is the America side of the family. So again, Indiana. Uh, so the kid learned how to make a fire really big and learned how to drive an ATV. ATV part sounds kind of cool. Making the fire part, I kind of wish I was there because I'm pretty sure I would have burnt shit down. Just I, I'm pyro. Like, I am 100% a pyro. And one of the last things we did, it wasn't like hugely touristy or whatever, but I took the kid to a driving range for the first time, which worked out fairly well. Like she got a couple of good hits. Uh, she didn't like it as much as I wanted her to. Maybe because dad's standing behind you going, no, your foot has to be a foot or an inch back. No, it, it. So maybe I was directing her a little too much, not letting her just hit the ball, but I'm being me. I'm being a dad. It's what we do, right? So yeah, all in all, things were good. Uh, outside of the flight home, which was delayed by four or four and a half hours or something stupid like that, which was ridiculously annoying. We got there when we were supposed to get there and then just, it's delayed an hour. It's delayed an hour and a half. It's delayed two and a half hours. It, like seriously, like Lynx Air, what the shit? Like last time I'm flying with them because that was, they were delayed on the flight to Toronto and then delayed from back to Calgary where that one was just being delayed like 20, 30 minutes or something. I, I can kind of get that. Being del like we should have been landing when we were taking off. Like that's some weird bullshit right there. Now, rather getting too much into that because it's just going to trigger me all over again. That is all that I have for this one. So all the normal stuff. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching and you haven't already, which I'd be very surprised if you're watching this far on this kind of video and you're not subscribed already, thank you. And then hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. There's the HFG Discord server. You can view all of my charts from all the testing that I do for fans, GPUs. I guess the GPU ones aren't up there, but I'll... Yeah, so fans, CPU coolers, cases, things like that. All my charts are up on the HFG Discord server. There is also Patreon if you'd like to support the channel directly. A link is in the description. Now, I will be getting back to reviews ASAP here, so I'll be hopefully getting those out next week. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.